you see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-deserved, well-dressed professor, professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. You slur the word major and smell like whores. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs at the air. Toxicology. Was that a bar burn, you ask? He says, definitely. Worried he hurt your feelings. He asks if you want the cheeseburger. One week later, you and Julie, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're we're starting to play Firewatch. This is a game that I actually wanted to bring with you guys for. a well, I should say a series that I wanted to bring out to you guys for a long time already, and I just haven't gotten it into the schedule. But but this is going to be a game that might some might be triggering to some viewers because it does deal with death and stuff like that, which yes sucks. But I just want to bring that to your guys' knowledge and whatnot. But anyway, and sorry about some of my reading stuff. Um, it'll probably get better if you go with the series that I, that I do read, but <clears throat> right now my reading skills are like not all that great and it is really late at night and I've been talking a lot today, so sorry about my, my reading and if it gets jumbled up and stuff and I will try and act some of the parts out, make it a little bit better for you guys. As I'm doing the um, reading and whatnot. So yeah, we can get we can jump into this one right now. We'll pick up our backpack. I'm just gonna make sure it'll build some. We'll try. Damn. This game looks fucking amazing. Let's let her gear up in the truck bed. You date her for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. 
there's a scruffy undersized eagle Julia is in love she wants to bring it with her to class there's also an imin Intimidating. There's also an intimidating but gentle eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad but could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him. Mayhem. Names him Bucket. Beagle. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979 you talk out on the deck it's summer tomorrow 9 30 p.m and the heat still radiates off the high desert what do you think about having kids she asks kids they're not very smart or good at much I'm saying if you and I have some a couple of little idiots that would be pretty good or one day with one day why rush let's do that in that case we should probably get married yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say he's pr absolutely right. Probably. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. In bear country. Cool. Right? Two forks. Cool. I. Mm, this game looks so good. Jeez, Louise, man. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you. We're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun. Having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I don't, want, I don't want to do anything. Problem with this game, I think, is that I love the love story between these two, but then they start fighting and stuff, and it just <laughs> doesn't make me. Um, it, it. I don't like it. I'll just ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about everything. She says it was great. You hold onto a tiny pill of resentment, make some coffee and go to work. 
1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. She pulls and flecks like a he-man. You frolic like a curse. Let's see the Victoria's Secret model on. Very nice. And sorry if I don't talk all that much, I just don't want to, um, ruin the game. I want to make sure something else, too. Oh, so we don't have stream. I played this way, so. Two forks. Player lookout. Eight miles ahead. Nineteen eighty-two. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy a walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Fuck! Fuck! Dog! Julia yells. She gets frustrated and has trouble speaking when she is dressed. You confront her, confront the attacker. You screw him, you scare him away, you beat I'm just gonna scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets Offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate Department Chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her to not take the job. Agree if she communicates back and forth. You ask her if she'll communicate mute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that that'll be hard, but she, she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back and forth to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julius is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to research. She didn't remember. He had it. Happily loaned them to loaned him just a few days prior. He was found crying in the stairwell. 
you say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it you make macaroni and macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it we're gonna okay. after seeing multiple doctors and having many tests they are worried that julia might be suffering from early onset, from early onset dementia he's 41. you both decide to keep it a cigarette for an owl but this this is not a good idea but any shots of by any long shot. Oh, I, I, I honestly feel bad for this dude in the story. Oh, Lordy. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because it sh he gets in less trouble around the homes. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles she drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police she is just she is devastated she is sent home on permanent medical leave God. That sucks that sucks so much though someday some days you get the julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots other days you get a stranger i feel for this dude so much though she pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is in the door you tell her family the family you tell her family they are crushed and being begin to make trips to and from their home in australia to visit her for a while your friends come by with things to brighten the day she gets worse 1988 you spend your days following julia around the house you count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full time kiss hole. On care facility, you determine that you can take care of her by yourself. Both of them suck in this situation, and I, and and I'm sorry to say it, they both suck. They really, really do suck. But do you decide to move her into a full time? Full Dude. And I might actually bawl into tears at some point in this because this is. I would say this is honestly a sad story. But yeah, I. But damn, dude, I feel for you. Or no, no trouble. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every day, then every other day. She 
you go to the bar. You go out to the bar with your friend, with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that everywhere, every, every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry uh, did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to not see your old friends that much. That sucks. 1989. Julia's sister, Susan, moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't be a therapist you won't you've always really liked susan months go by bucket dies julia doesn't remember him when you tell her sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you in the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more you think summer's coming and you see an ad in the newspaper for a job you take it Enter the lookout tower. Uh, man, oh man, oh man, does this game look. I love, honestly, love the freaking art style of this game. It looks so amazing, though. Like, honestly, this game looks so... Dang. Holy crap, though. So good, though. I don't have to enter it, but I just want to take... I, but I just want to take in the... Scenery, though. Jesus. Lord Almighty. But, I, but honestly, I do feel for this dude. Turn on the power. Pick up the radio. Supplies for two forks. The old wood stove. Stove. Ooh. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Remember, how do we? Oh, hold left shift to activate the radio. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... But sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. You've killed three ex husbands. You're rebelling against your, rebelling against your mom. Nobody back home can't stand you. 
You're just gonna wait me out on this? Ugh, fine. But I'm gonna take a second here and have a guess about you. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Stay one. afternoon <laughs> you probably slept like a rock anyway uh there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in i can see you at your desk so call me when you're ready oh my lord oh yeah hey sorry guess i slept in you got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Confirm. Are those fucking fireworks? And to use compass. Fear West. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Seriously, are you seeing this? Oh yeah. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. <laughs> Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. I kick the shit out of them. Can I write them a ticket? Do you I'm think not. You can handle that? Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> okay. I guess we're gonna go put the firework. Go tell them about the fireworks. After I remember which way we have to go out of here. But oh man, oh lord. But man, oh lord, does this game look amazing? M for roadmap. Two forks, look out. That's where I am. I think we're going the right way. There's, oh yeah. There's, I think it's over by Jersey Lake. I think correctly. Oh yeah. I think we're going the right way. I hope. We're going to still use our compass though.
this game looks. Thing. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. I found the supply box. Great. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Hey, what's the code again? One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. Five, four, three, two, one. Two. Three. Four. Yay! Pinecone. The rope. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Eat it, I guess. Hmm. Can we close the box? Oh, that's right. Eh. I think we can go this way. Somewhere's here. We can go this way here. Why don't we get a red? Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. It's steep. Yep, I know. But down we go. Dude. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. He needs a rope. Yep, 
It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. So we're heading west. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. Let's swing one. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muscoil light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. There we go. Campfire. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh shit. Ferret or Irish. Let's save that for later. Confiscate them. Oh, let's clean that up. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Two pairs of clothes. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Wow, oh, dude. Wow. Oh, what? Another pair of brawn panties. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? Found them! I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy! Gold stereo! They are drunk. Work and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Oh. Let's get out of here. There you go. On the way back to Two Forks, look out. Okay. Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Yeah, we'll find a way back. In this beautiful ass game though. Campfighter. There you go. That's all. Holy man, oh lord, this game looks... 
Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Oh. Let's go this way, then. We examine that before. Oh, the, um, we can't go back this way because we put on the rock cliff. Huh. So we have to go back to the lake. Go back where we came from. Whoopsie daisy, I should have listened to her. Probably should have listened to her. Uh, okay, so from these rocks, where do I go again? Go back towards the lake, turn north, and east through the canyon. There should be a trail at the far east side of it. Go back towards the lake. Vintage, but uh, it's not all that terrible. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. <laughs> Let's run. I could very well muchly walk, but I don't feel like walking back all that way. But like I said before, this... <gasps> arts, I love this art style of this game, though. And these episodes might be a little bit longer, I don't know. But we'll see where we get into, what we all get into in, the, in an episode. Cross the river again. Go up these rocks here. I think, yeah. So the trail runs this way more. So I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Okay, well. Ooh. Nearby storm. Or I should say you see nearby storm. Which I, which I would say is not all that big of a deal. Ox! Yes! One! Two! Three! Four! Nothing! But we're gonna co copy this stuff to our map. So we know. Hey, we're gonna use a flashlight. The horn. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. We'll toggle our flashlight. Cave, nope. Shit, Sherlock.
What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Hello? It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. <laughs> uh, another lookout? They go in, they never come out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is, yep. Come on. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I hope the race of God it is. Let's go up here. Did you see stuff? Yeah, I that, yeah, I can agree with that. But there's a random dude looking at you in the light. Uh, fuck no. That's kind of creepy. I'm not going. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna drop no. Jump. Climb up the rocks. There, buggy boy. I'm rocks. One more time. On. Trail closed sign. Beauty can come. Whoops. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but. You know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Yeah. Cool. The Jenny. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. <laughs> and, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Autos. Yes. Oh, okay, go on. I guess you have to go up the stairs, though. Look at my typewriter. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me.
someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. Supplies. I can't believe this shit. Okay, I put in a call. That was, that was fast. fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done this? The girls at I the did lake? probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. <laughs> Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache. I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Oh, well, A2. Damn, Lord Almighty. Wake <laughs> this up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger, and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay. I saved the game. And... We're gonna go... To menu. So on a quick hey guys thank you guys so much for watching this episode of like the first episode of firewatch on the channel hope you guys did like this video there's gonna be a lot more stuff coming to the channel within the next couple of months to a year which i'm very happy about now that we've got stuff to do so but yeah no thank you guys so much for watching this video of firewatch if you guys did like the video please do leave a like down below if you guys want to see more firewatch Please say so in the comments with oh please say so in the comments if you want to see more. And also if you guys did like the video, please do leave a like. That helps me out a lot to tell if I can bring this back or what. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Firewatch and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah,